Hello there, Don here once more with another riveting, exciting video <laughs> showing you how I go about making my doors. Um, I've cut a doorway out of this uh, piece of uh, wall. It's just two pieces of uh, three millimeter card and then I've put the, the wall on top using grout. Uh, you can see the, the wall there. I'll show you in another video how I go about doing doing those. Uh, anyway, so I've made up a door just to give you an idea. So that will be the finished article when we put a door in there. Can you see that? There we go. So what we do with a piece of one millimetre cardboard. Um, it doesn't need to be any thicker than that because we've got a lot of fine cutting to do. Uh, so uh, just place that behind behind the uh, doorway and then mark out what the size of the door will be. So we've just got uh, that shape. So now we can decide what design of door we'd like to go in there. Uh, and I've opted for a, uh, a six panel door. Uh, you can draw the door like this and then rub it out and uh, change it and alter it to, to whatever shape you think is uh, right. But I think a six panel door like that is uh, it's about the right to, about the right size. So what I shall do is um, mark this uh, doorway out properly um, and then uh, I can cut out the um, where the panels will be um, when you cut fine lines like this uh, it, it can't be done in one cut because by the time you've cut down there you, you've cut through the the um, what well, you've cut through the part that you don't want cutting <laughs> so Basically, you just cut halfway, turn around and cut from the uh, from the other way. Uh, just a little tip there. So I'll go ahead and mark this out properly uh, with this particular design, uh, and then uh, I'll be back in a moment. So there we are. We cut out the panels. You can see just like that. Quite easy to do, really. Uh, that will then sit on a piece of three millimeter cardboard like so and then the pieces that we cut out cut down by one eighth of an inch or three millimeters uh, by its length and width so that they fit inside the gaps there to make the, the, the door panelling they'll fit in there like so Okay, but before we do that, uh, each piece of panel needs to have just the slightest chamfer. Is it chamfer? On each edge. So with a, a fine piece of um, sandpaper, just go around and just take a, a piece off each side. Don't know whether you can see that but there's a, a bit of a chamfer on uh, on each side just taking taking the squareness away uh, so when that sits in there it'll look, uh, look more um, more realistic and also you could try to do the same with each panel side of the door so it might take a, a little while to do but um, just go around each of the sides and uh, just take a bit off all the way around. Okay, so I'll do that. Put these in and glue it all together. That's uh, glued the uh, one millimeter to the three millimeter card now, and I've put all the uh, 
the inside panels in in, uh, in in their place. You can just adjust them accordingly before the glue dries. And there's a, a six panel door. And when you put that in the doorway, like so, um, then, well, <laughs> make up your own mind. <laughs> uh, so I'll paint that. Uh, usually grey. Most thing, most things I paint are grey, uh, and then uh, a bit of dry brushing and tiddling about, and uh, try and make it a little more door-like. And uh, I'll be back and, and see what it looks like then. So there we are. I painted the door as be as best I can. Um, I'd be the first to admit I'm not the world's greatest of painters. In fact, um, I only use black, white, burnt sienna and green. They're the only colours I ever use. I know a lot of uh, modelling videos, they, they've got creaking shelves full of exotic paints for this and paints for that. Uh, someone once had uh, Russian mud paint, a pot of Russian mud paint, paid a fortune for it. Uh, it all seems a little bit silly to me, but um, if we put that in situ then um, oh, well if you look very closely oh, I don't think that's too bad there we go so I shall stick that in place and uh, that is my version of a six panel door um, it doesn't have to be fixed it could be like the green door here that's uh, been blown off and uh, just leant against the doorway I suppose and there's a, another door there and then uh, on the 10 Rillington Place diorama you can see the doors to the uh, um, well the toilet and the wash house is what they are And a similar door there and the front door I think I did a panel door on there as well that one's a bit darker so there we are they are my doors if you've enjoyed this video then please don't hesitate to hit the subscribe button or if you leave any comments that would be very uh, very uh, I should be very grateful uh, next time I should be doing windows so until then thank you very much for watching and happy modeling <laughs>